So, uh, I got an interesting question and figured, hey, this deserves a video. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. My name here is Ron. I am here to help you with your creativity and to help you with your 3D printer. Now, today I got a quest. Well, actually, a couple weeks now. I got a question on the Discord. Now, if you're not part of our Discord, you should join our Discord. It's very simple to do. Just check out the links down below where we have the links for the Discord and other ways that you can be part of the CMP, including my Patreon. Anyways, let's get into this. First of all, A, uh, the question was, how do I change my nozzle size in Cura? Now, Cura happens to be the most uh, used program out there for 3D printing. There's other ones out there like Idea Maker and Prusa Slicer, but today we're just going to look at Cura only. So I got Cura loaded up with a print right now, and I'm going to show you how to change your nozzle size. It's pretty simple. But first, you got to change your nozzle <laughs> before you change your size. The standard size on most printers is 0.4. Now, I've gone to a 0.6 on my CR10, which I will show you that it's already been set up. But if you have to change your nozzle, we are going to go with the Ender 3 right now. And I'll show you the profile and I'll explain everything that you're seeing. So give me a moment here while I bring myself down. And we're going to look at Cura. There we go. Okay, so under Cura, we're going to go to Preference, Configure Cura. Inside here, we want to go to Printers. Now, I'm on the CR10 setting right now, right over here, as you can see. And I'm going to click on Machine Settings. In here, it'll usually go to the printer. So you get your XYZ, Rectangular, your Minimums, your Gravity, Height. But over here is where you're going to set up your nozzle. And in here, I have it set for 0.6. Now, the standard nozzle size that you will see on most printers, like Ender 3, because the Ender 3 is kept mostly stock. I haven't changed anything on my Ender 3 except for the uh, stepper mortar. But if we look at the profile, we go to printers, and we go to machine settings. As you can see, 0.4 nozzle. And to easily change it, you just take it out and just pipe in whatever you want. And then your printer size is here. Now, if you ever want to change any of this, this is very easy to change and get all set it up. But for extruder, very simple to change. Also, if you ever decide that you want to change your filament type, like say you got a... Uh, 2.85 and you change your printer to 2.85 because you gain that because you got tons of that filament. Well, you can if your printer can handle 2.85, you can change that here in the compatible material information. Now that's 1.75 is what I use. But if I had say 2.85, I could and I routed the printer to just do 2.85, I could change this to 2.85 and get some amazing results including using a bigger nozzle. Uh, 2.85, I would definitely go to a 1.0 nozzle. And I tell you, that prints would come out beautiful, but they'd be thick. And it's up to you what type of prints you want. But anyways, once you've done that, you hit close, close, and it's saved in your printer. Just as simple as that. Very simple video, and hopefully that answers your question. If you are kind of stuck on a question and you're not sure, hit us up on Discord. Our Discord site is probably the best way to reach out to me. You can also leave a comment down below on this video. That would be very helpful. But one other option I want you to do, if I've helped you in any which way, I want you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell and select all. Because when you do that, what that does, that allows you to be able to let me know that, you know, my video was helpful to you. And it helps grow the channel. Well, anyways, everybody, I want to thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep on 3D printing. Have yourselves a great day. I'll catch you on the next one.